Hi everyone, my name is Carrie Woodward and I'm a team leader with Usborne Books and More and today we are going to be going over some of our novel series appropriate for upper elementary grades four all the way through high school. All right, the first series I wanna talk about is the Gateway series. There are four books in this particular series. It's all about Amelia and her parents buying this spooky house at the top of a hill and how when Amelia opens doors in, these, in her house, she's actually transported to different dimensions uh, through a gateway. So there are four books in this series all about her adventures in these alternate dimensions. Next up, um, the Gateway series is rated for ages 8 to 12, um, but middle schoolers could absolutely enjoy this series as well. Uh, next up is uh, the Choose Your Own uh, Ever After series. Uh, basically for girls, um, but it's a, it's a choose your own adventure story, just like we had uh, when we were kids. So at the bottoms of the different pages, you get to make a choice and go to a different page, but it's all about um, these different girl uh, protagonists who are uh, going through different adventures and life experiences through elementary and middle school. Um, there are some romance kind of things with kissing and stuff, so just be forewarned that in the Choose Your Own Ever After series, uh, it does it is probably more appropriate for middle school. Next up is The Impossible Quest. Um, this series is fantastic if you have a kid who likes the Chronicles of Narnia or the Hunger Games. It's very action driven, but it's also historically based. So these characters all have to um, save this um, this king and this uh, um, and, and and go through different battles with different um, neighboring countries and people all through these five books to be able to save the um, the area and the castle that they that they belong to. Uh, but you also get some historical information on serfs and knights and all of that kind of thing as well. So very much appropriate for upper elementary and middle school. Next up is the Star of Del Toro. In this particular uh, series, you have Britta, whose father was taken into custody, and she and her family own this ship, this fleet of ships that have been taken over um, by these mercenaries, and so she has to um, challenge herself to be able to take back her family's name and take back these uh, ships that uh, rightfully belong to um, her family. Lots of fantasy, and, but still a very, very strong f protagonist, um, female protagonist in those books. The Star of Del, Del Tora is rated for nine plus, so again, fifth, sixth, middle school, um, great for them. Next up are the true stories. So there are multiple true stories. These are just a few of them. But in the true stories, if you have um, kids who really just like fic nonfiction, uh, these stories are great. Uh, each chapter is a different story. They're rated for ages 9 plus. So again, great for upper elementary and middle schoolers to be able to kind of delve into a series that's all nonfiction instead of a more fictional based novel series that we typically get. All right, next up is Conspiracy 365. This is rated for ages 10 to 15, but there is um, information. There is lots of um, I don't know, like murder and uh, blood and kind of some guts and gore. So definitely a middle school, high school level book. But you read the books January through December. They're written in kind of journalistic um, and diary entry as you follow um, Cal, who is our protagonist, as he gets through all 365 days um, in, these, in, the, in this particular series. Next up is The Last 13. Uh, you read these books, in chapter or book 13, all the way back to chapter one. In these books, uh, The Last 13 is actually rated for ages, uh, I wanna make it sure I get it right, 11 plus, but I, I would definitely say middle school um, on these. But there are 13 books, there's 13 different dreamers that have to come together to uh, use the dreams that they're having to save uh, the world from the apocalypse, the apocalypse basically. So um, not a whole lot of guts and gore, but definitely some a little bit more mature you know, themes as you're going through the last 13, but less so than maybe the Conspiracy 365 that we saw before that. Next up is the Mystery of the Clockwork Sparrow. This is all about two female detectives in England and uh, thick books, all about mystery and um, crime solving. So 
not a whole lot of, um, you know, sensory kinds of topics. So this is a great, uh, great series for um, boys or girls that are reading above maybe their um, above their their age level, but you want to get them some age appropriate kind of content that isn't you know scary. So this is the mystery of the Clockwork Sparrow. Um, it is rated for ages 11 plus, but like you saw, they're very very thick. So it's it's an appropriate um, upper elementary middle school kind of book. Next up is the Koromori Chronicles. There are three books in this series. We currently have two. And in the Koromori Chronicles, you have our protagonist here who goes to Japan and meets another protagonist. So we have dueling protagonists here. We have Kenny, and um, he has to face all of these um, monsters throughout uh, this kind of uh, alternate Japanese um, kind of pseudo-anime um, kind of series. So there's all kinds of different uh, teleporting and, um, you know, fighting. So it is a, a mature audience kind of book, but not a graphically, um, it's, it's not like sexual in nature. It's just more graphic as far as fighting is concerned. So definitely um, a book for middle and high school or series for middle and high school. Next up is The Phoenix Files. This is all about uh, Luke and these other protagonists that get, um, their families get shipped, basically. Uh, their family, their parents get employed in Phoenix, not Phoenix, Arizona, just a place called Phoenix. And they quickly realize that um, that their town is very weird, that there's something going on, that the government is kind of maybe kind of tr kind of tr control what's going on. And so what they need to do is to figure out what's going on so that they can save the human race. So uh, definitely a middle and high school um, series, but a great one. Lots of drama and action going on in the Phoenix Files. And lastly, we have The Debt. Uh, this is definitely a, um, a high school um, novel series. There are six books in this series, and it's all about this young pro male protagonist who has to pay off this family debt, otherwise he will be killed. So um, definitely, you know, more... Um, more graphic than you would maybe than you would want your elementary student reading, but um, definitely a series appropriate for middle and high schoolers as they are um, still, you know, interested in reading and wanting to um, to continue to learn. So that's a lot of different series. Um, all of them, not all of them, but you know, I talked about the progression basically of going from upper elementary school all the way through high school appropriateness. And um, I hope that that helps in um, kind of explaining and kind of seeing the insides of some of our, um, our novel series. So hopefully that helps. And remember, all kids deserve books. Thank you.